angel toward men. We want to bless God this night for his mercy, for his grace, for his goodness, and the fact that God himself came into the flesh, that the word became fresh. We celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have every cause to thank the Lord for sending his son to come and save us. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? We bless God. We give you thanks and we give you praise. Almighty God, we gather here because your son came into the flesh. We gather Joy has filled the earth and joy has filled our heart. We live as living witnesses, oh God. God, in the name of Jesus, for sending your son, Lord, we are grateful unto you. As we celebrate this season, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Let's say thank you, Lord. Take glory, 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 Lord. We cannot thank you enough. We are grateful unto you, Lord. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Tonight we pray that the Spirit of God will have his way in this broadcast. Will have his way in our midst. That the Lord will open an entrance for his word. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost descend mightily on this service. And all over anybody connected to us tonight. Let the Spirit of God be on the move. Please shall we pray. Kabaraba. Mazedi di katori anda la badosha ta rende de 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 bata la baduze bronda reki ato zaparu ata yanda la ba reke de broko boho shata yanda bada we lift up this broadcast we lift up this service into your hands oh God lamonde ke baduza ba oh Spirit of the Living God have your way le mako zibo kata rabada bo shanta la bada let the entrance of your word uh, bring understanding of God to the simple la bakaduri antaya bakosa rokoto bo shata la baba oh spirit of God have your way uh, be on the move and touch life uh, let your word indeed become flesh la bronda babe kaduri anda rokoto bo shata la bada la be baruza ta kayanda rekendi la bado mo shata let the light of your word uh, shine forth in our Lives, uh, and shine forth on our paths, uh, shine forth on our ways. La Mumba Day, Kadurianda, our cry and our prayer tonight is that Lord, you will use this broadcast, oh God, uh, Father, to touch homes, uh, to touch lives, uh, to touch nations of the world. La Be Kaduri Masotaya, have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let our singing, our worship, Lord Kadume Katola Basataya, Makabre Doboko Soto, come. Under the influence of the Holy Ghost, Lopra Kabadu Zepe Lakutaya, Raconda Bababo Satai, have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Roko Mosata Yabalua, Lezi Bakori and Talabasata, Rendididididididi Kapata Sata. Beloved, we pray that a servant of God and all the vessels that the Lord will use tonight will come under the great power of the Holy Ghost. We are praying that the Lord will grant them utterance, that they will speak the mysteries of God, that they will declare the oracle of God. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up your servants into your hands. They are vessels of God, and we pray that your grace will descend upon them as never before. Anoint their lips and anoint your word that comes out to God. We pray in the name of Jesus. As 
you always do, Father. Use them as vessels. Manifest your power and show forth your glory, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to have a witness that at the end of the day, glory will rise unto you. Let testimonies, O God, spring forth out of this, O God, meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way. Rokobo Masata Karabadosa Lezu Kate Makurianda Roko Mondo Bosantaya Rapada Bo Basika Tonda Lebe Katurianda Labata Laze Bakurianda Laba Rako Boda Basata Lave Katuri Baseta Yanda Kentalabado Shatalabayanda Forever O Lord Thy word is settled is settled in heaven, in heaven forever, forever. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We believe and we trust that, Lord, you would do what you have said you would do. Let all the glory come back to you. In Jesus' name, amen.
the reason why we sing our songs and say hallelujah is because of God's indescribable gift, Jesus Christ. The Bible says that in the fullness of time, God sent forth his son, born by a woman, born under the law, to redeem those of us who were under the law, that we may obtain adoption to sonship or the nurturing. Beloved, this is the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. We are grateful to those who are joining us on TV, on Pen TV. It's all about Jesus. We are on channel 367. We are on Go TV channel 175. We are also streaming live on Facebook at APS.Eric Nyamiche. We are also on Pen TV GH and then the COP HQ. We want to welcome our viewers on YouTube. The handles are the Church of Pentecost and then Pen TV GH. We are very, very grateful to Atinka TV for the strong partnership we have enjoyed with them as far as this transmission is concerned. We want to welcome our very, very enthusiastic Zoom audience as well as those who are listening on the COP online radio. In case you also are on the COP app, you can look for Pen TV GH and then click that handle as well as those who are on PenTVOnline.com, which is 24 7. This is the special service with the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, and we are grateful to our sponsors, Priority Insurance. Priority Insurance is saying that we are on your side. We are your very, very loyal client when it comes to all forms of insurance needs. Priority Insurance will give you top priority once you need insurance. We are also sponsored by Next Computers. Next Computers is your home of top class quality computers and accessories photocopiers and money counting machines. Next computers is second to none when it comes to computers and accessories. Lufat tablet and syrup is saying that you can be rest assured once you test for malaria and you are looking for an antidote, it is Lufat tablet and syrup. Finally, EDC. EDC is a subsidiary of the Ecobank Group, EDC. He's saying that they can help you to be able to save one day at a time so that your financial independence can become a possibility. This is the special service on Pen TV, the Christian television station of the year 2022. And here, God is able to give us fathers and God is able to raise us for as ministers after his own heart who teach us wisdom and revelation so that we can walk the walk that is in accordance with God's will. Tonight, God has blessed us with two of our fathers, two of our fathers, and by the grace of God, out of them, wells of revival will flow in this place. It's my singular honor tonight, first of all, to introduce the General Secretary of the Church of Pentecost, Apostle Eric, Apostle Alexander <laughs> Nanayao. We love you. <laughs> Let's receive our father with a clap of prayer. And then finally, also in the house tonight, is the International Missions Director of the Church of Pentecost, Apostle Emmanuel Ajibai. We're clean. Let's receive our fathers to minister to us. <laughs> Christmas to you all. I bring you special greetings from my dear chairman and big brother, Apostle Eric Nyamiche and his family.
e de enchia e free en titne ni small for eric namiche o e bremu nyina we are very grateful to god and also want to thank you especially those who've been following us throughout the year every sunday evening you tune in to join us e de nyame ase edam ase pa se kwesi adanwumre bia mutie yen and does this program the, the name on it is worth it special evening church service with the chairman of the church of Pentecost. <laughs> you observe that our uh, uh, pastor Arnold is so much engrossed in it that whenever he says the chairman of the church of Pentecost, then we are ready to receive from the chairman. But unfortunately, I'm stepping in that big shoes so i need grace to continue so so far no everybody no cry now you have to train it in and then you have to train it in and then you have to today is christmas and then you have to share part of it people are singing christmas carols and i also don't sing it means i've not come to christmas night so if you can you know how to sing hug the herald angels sing uh, wherever you are, I want you to join me sing that one. Just the first stanza. Cool. I like the hymn, but I don't have a good voice. So those who know can help us. Okay, I'll try it myself to go. I want to discuss something short. I'm praying that I'll be brief. With you. I've entitled it, I just took it from how the Bible captioned greetings. Oh, favored one, the Lord is with you. So this evening, greetings. Oh, you favored, the Lord is with you. And then you bring Chiam and Dema on Praise the Lord, all you favor, the Lord is with you. And then finally, Merry Christmas. And oh, you, you favor, the Lord is with you. And what you know, the title of the message. We any assembly will be the one that we start with. I want to say the year 2023, you are favored, and the Lord will be with you. And see, I fear you, Ramon, and you may catch your own, say, what do you know, the count home. My main text is from Luke chapter 1, verse 28 to 38. Making kind of a sample, I said, I look at your mind, it's here, the kind of thing you move, and you know what you could see. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. No, but for no ban in chain, because the Cassa Triano said, No, when in and the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with the Lord. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. 
Ne wadi nyanko pon di neja David and Yumia Ebe Mano, no bedi ya ko fear so hini da pem na na hini no to rinja da. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth is in her old age. Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who, has called, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Yet to us, if you are son and nine one, now Maria say, above one say, ye bear dang and a bemu if we say, minimum bear me beara. Above one who was saying, say, um, conquer a bow so now the old so soon in your old so soon I'm holding a be cut out so ain't it at the conquer of the one or be friend or on young make and as on young coupon a bar now share. Ubusi ya ni Elizabeth enso, enye insayi oberima ni mri wabremu na diye wafrenu ubuninu. Yei, enye ni busumia etoso insia. Efrise, unyankupa mfemu diye, bribiere niwa eri intumi enye ho. For nothing will be impossible with the Lord. And Mary said, behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And Maria said, She, a radia funanimu, and your mammy said, You was saying, Na, a buffono, a jan hokoi. This evening, I'm discussing with you the one who is favored. And you may not be doing common yet, dear, what domino, or having favor with the Lord. And I said, We know, when you're going to do it, briefly, we want to define favor as. God stepping into one's situation to make it a worthwhile difference. God stepping into a situation to change things. So, ye kase wenya aduma na ano unyami ni mo aduma. Eni so unyango po angasa wedi akajine mo amau na wama no ye ye edi amau. Or favor is a highway to connect you to your destiny. And as I do, I am going to bring you a little bit of my faswa, a bit of me to walk up here, Shabri. We read from Genesis chapter six, verse eight, where we are told that Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Who can carry Moses home? Did carry it in Sia? In your mum, what you know? Trust him. He said, Noah, we now we are going to do. So when you are connected to favor, you find your God leads you to your destiny. And so when you are doing what, when you are doing what, be a Shabri. And therefore, when God speaks into your situation, all you have to do is to obey and follow. Now we find this virgin Mary who receives this angel Gabriel. And reading through scriptures, you observe that angel Gabriel is always associated with delivering several important messages from God to people from Daniel chapter 8 and 9 he, he came to deliver something to Daniel and then Luke chapter 1 from 11 downwards he came to deliver a message to Zachariah so maybe in I'm just trying to Speculate. Maybe in the minds of Mary, you thought that when a Gabriel is coming, some important people like Daniel, Daniel the Zacharias. And so she not just say, "Ebi, I'll show you how to Kenya." Ebi, I know Mary, I know Julie Mudie. So both for Gabriel, ba, ba, a titre biho. He said, "But this young lady received this message from the angel." Now so Baba, he or J, as in pay, if you both for Gabriel, she was surprised. Now we, now in one way. For him, for her to receive a message from an angel of the Lord. But the angel told her that she had found favor with the Lord. And so, both one catcher and say, when you are not anymore, dumb. It's because God has set her aside to carry the Savior of the world for nine months. So when the message was decoded from the heavenly realms, all that the servant could say that. I am the Lord's servant. May it be unto me as you have said. And the bread of the assembly, the bread, no, no, no. To me, can you answer? Me, I'm not going to pay for that. And your mama said you're welcome. The beloved favor brings things that are tangible. I don't know. I do my way. And the idea of to me, who knows? So this evening, I came to announce to somebody that forget about whatever I went through 
2022, so far as Christ has been born and you have received him as your Lord and personal Savior, something tangible is on the way coming. If you read Isaiah chapter 66 verse 2, Isaiah 66 verse 2 says, These are the ones I look on with favor, those who are humble and contrite in spirit, and who tremble at my word. This is suggesting to us that before you can receive the favor of God, before God can step into your situation, you must be somebody who has set him or herself apart and prepared to follow God's Directives. So as we celebrate this Christmas, and having just six days to end the year 2022, I want you to search within your spirit. And see whether the connection between you and God is good. Once you set yourself apart, God will step into your situation. Because 2 Chronicles 16 and verse 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. Throughout the whole earth. To show himself strong on so, behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. So I came to announce to somebody that God is patrolling. God is on excursion. And he's trying to locate somebody who is strategical position so that he can step into the person's situation. And turn things around. If you go through scripture, Okay, can't you said that there were a lot of people that God stepped into their situation. And when God came into the situation, their situation changed. And things turned around. If you read Daniel chapter, sorry, Daniel, let me take this one. Daniel chapter 1, verse 9. The Bible said, now God had brought Daniel into favor. And tender love with the prince of the Enoch. So God located Daniel. Said he brought him into it. So 2023. I came to announce to somebody that irrespective of your situation and there is a divine hand that is going to pick you and you translate you into a different situation and your circumstance will change and your destiny will change because you have found favor with the Lord and God is with you. So when a man is selected for something good among his people Yes, this when he's not qualified, and this we say the person has found favor. And this will you be see what every on one in five woman now what you need to not be a BS from Kwania. You can say when you if there were to be some standard set and you don't meet it, and God comes into the situation and then he picks you and puts you there, then we say you have found favor. Obey, no, no, so soon you be a whole now. So on, so when you make both them a you and you could be a sat to be any more. I'm standing here, I know it is by grace and favor. Because we are drunkard to impregnate the daughter of a fetish priest. And out of that, an apostle to come out. It takes only favor. Now, so, so 2022, because Christ has been born and you have accepted him, he's going to translate you into 2023 with divine speed. 
na usha afia onyakopo ndi awiei onyame aso mu usha odi ahode sonko e de be wura ni eba ni Esther chapter 2 verse 15 to 17 if you read Esther was selected among several other beautiful ladies that were qualified to be queens okay. these ladies were all qualified to be queens okay in kind Esther homa no etimie no efi yimu dunum no kwa na na oyi Esther fi emma emma wo nyina no obetumi aya hema no ebu no nyina this lady whose background wasn't anything that was good who was a slave or who was a captive was chosen out of those who thought it was their time na o she i say ya o hu say na bakosem ana say ni jina bia no enu ba bia na nso woni pa ni nyina mu no na dan so o pa no when a man is chosen for the position he is not naturally qualified for especially among others that are far better than him then it is favor that does that so o she na otimi pa o bi e fi ni fafu o mu a ono ba bia wode ne ko no on she dan so a now who is a and reading first Samuel chapter 6 verse 11 to 13 of that that David was the most unqualified person naturally from among his family to be chosen to become a king because even the father himself whether deliberate conscious or inadvertently forgot about David so they counted ah, are this all your children then oh there is this naughty guy who's somewhere I don't quite want to you o hwe samwa o homa ni mu a ye di kan no a ohun se wo kan kan sem bi fa david ho na bra ono a o ma no e be yo hene ne chese e adom e san se na jakura na ne yura firi no ene ye gusa ne se ah na o ma ni nyina ni eno o ka se ah ba ku bi o ono kra de oni ha e adom ene dom no so this evening because christ has been given to us as our savior in 2023 don't depend on what people say about you but what jesus says it's what will come to pass. And then you may find favor. It's answer what the Christo am my yentino. Ye wura a fi fufro yimui. But what the answer won't find one to ni paso. Nemo ube shwe nyame nkwa. Favor can be explained when a man seeks the face of God in prayer. And have all his prayer requests granted. Like Jabez says, in pain I was born. Oh God, bless me and change my circumstance. And Bible said, God granted his wish. This is favor. So this evening... Whatever you have brought before God, you are counting. We have six days to go. But the Bible says the God that we serve, a thousand days, like a, a thousand years is like a day. And a day is like a thousand years. We have six days to go. But between now and 31st December, God will answer your prayer. And once it's answered, that is favor that has located you. Say ye kanso obi anyo nyame animu adomo na chese ni mpaya odi kwa urade ani mbo ye nyina no onyame adimu ay pa abba e wo mpaye ni nyina e ho sane ayabes obo urade mpaya onyame sakra no no akabe ye nensia pe ni awie afi mumye nyi nyame di isanso no de enfia pem e ye nani so da kro onyame fem de bribiere ni wa into me. I said to people that nobody is an accident in this world. Because of the way the mother gave birth to Jabez, he decided to give him a specific name. I don't know and I don't care how people perceive and how people look at you. But when I, what I know is that when such people go before God and they are favored with God, God will bring them out. And the same people who gave them that name we begin to change the name. Listen, I come to inform somebody that you have found favor with the Lord because the Lord is with you. And so far as the Lord is with you, he will carry you through to your destiny. If you read John chapter 17, verse 1 to 15, Okay, can you Favor is when help is made available and to a man at a time and from a place he least expected. So we meet this gentleman at the pool of Bethsaida. And at a, a, a point in time, an angel ought to come and disturb the water. 
suddenly Jesus appears I want to tell you whether people are helping you or not what that people are prepared to help you or not when Jesus steps into the situation no complaint in God's appointed time he will visit you so as God visited the man at the pool of Bethsaida when there was nobody to help carry her into the pen. And the man who had been causing the angel to disturb the waters came himself to Nania. push him so in. That same person, I'm recommending and encourage you to hold his hands and walk with him. And once you hold his hand and he's with you, favor. Put, take, take you to your destiny. Yeah. I decided to list a lot of things so that I can fit to where you are and know that it takes only favor from God to change our situations. If you read Acts chapter 6 verse 9 to 7, Acts chapter 9 verse 1 to 6, when a man is called by God to do great work for God, when he was not thinking about it, we call it favor. You understand this better you meet Paul. He was using his strength to oppose God. But when God met him, he turned things around and used a double or triple that strength to work for God. And we call it favor. Generally, in the Lord, I can go on and on. But another thing that we want to say this evening is that God said, he came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But those who receive him, he gave them power to become his children. So as Mary decided to carry Jesus in her womb for nine months. And because he was repaired, to carry that. Not why we are saying that she found favor with the Lord. This evening, if you are prepared to receive that Christ into your life, regardless of your circumstance, because you are going to carry him, you find favor. And once you find favor with the Lord, you change all your manners to positive. Tell beloved in the Lord, as we celebrate Christmas, I want to encourage you to reposition yourself so that when God wants to visit you in your situation you will be able to locate you and change or turn things around I want to give you just three or four things that will destroy the favor or prevent you from receiving the favor of God disobedience to God so yes, what do you mean, Yamia? When Mary received the message, all she could do is say, "Let it be done according to your word." I am but a servant. Bra Mary, nya sanka ibono ni okan yende say wa funa ni mio enye ma me said ye wa semna kano. If you read First Samuel chapter fifteen, nineteen to twenty-four, so okay, kind some of whom may di kano iti dunu efi yimu dun kungo si ya dunu nainoa. You observe that Saul, when he became king, enjoyed the favor of God and was selected as a king for Israel. But through disobedience, he lost the divine power to the extent that even when someone was praying and interceding for him, God said, "This man, I rejected him long time. Why they waste your time? Move on. I reject him." Long time ago. Who says so? Bra war power no amana baby o nyan kopon cru and as any man for any no. O nyon yami any more dum nan sa so dinti a fe o dini nano sa dumi a shrin. Twenty twenty two, the Lord's favor is going to follow you. 
But for it to be sustained, you, you have to be obedient to God. If you disobey, God will cut off that favor. Number two, sexual sin, immorality. We saw Samson losing the favor of God due to his immoral life. If you read Judges chapter 16 verse 18 to 21. Read Judges chapter 16 verse 18 to 21. Okay, can't tell me what form of anything you see. If you you must do what you could see. Because of that, she lost the favor and the strength and the power of God on on his life. Sa subayin inti o nyami tumi awo no sono e irano. Third one, pride. The tosu mi ensa e ya humaso. No, Satan was anointed the kerim. In heaven, he was the leader, the choir master there, as we are told. Yeah, Lucifer, no, or you'll be a crumpa, and when you're a Hindi anymore. But he lost that highly place because of pride. Now, so, sad, the beer, I'll cry, you know, if you're in that, God doesn't favor people who are proud. When you're me, on so, so, on my own, on so. And then my last one, lack of faithfulness in the service of God. Hey, you're saying, you're not in your radio, no, cray. If a man is unfaithful in the service of God, he will never enjoy divine favor. If you read Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 to 12. Then Ananias and Sapphira will also testify to that. Ananias and Sapphira will also testify to that. And also sowing the seed of wickedness. And also sowing the seed of wickedness. In the church and among members. Judges chapter 1, verse 5 to 7 talks about Adonija or Adoni Bedzek. Okay, Dearly beloved, in conclusion, as we celebrate Christmas. Bra, yes, Christopher. Favor wants to locate us because we have received Jesus as our personal savior. And he's our Lord. In 2023, God is prepared to let his favor lead us. And his favor is going to produce supernatural pro promotion and increase in your life. Bring restoration of everything that the enemy has stolen. Bring the honor in the midst of adversities. Produce increase in assets. Expand our territories. Win battles for us. But and so there is a price to be paid. As I say, yeah, crowd say, if you are be righteousness, no, 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 say, but what in it comes through the new birth away and I'm off for so never through continuing in the total obedience of God. And they say, a because so I used to and so I'm going to receive favor, or person on your mind, and have divine power in your life. Now, on your young couple, to me, if you want to speak into your situation, you couple, and Casa for Tibiano, this even I recommend Jesus to you. Then you may share. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, Christ, the carrier of God's favor, has been born. I want you to follow the way Mary received the message. Be obedient to Jesus Christ. Just receive him. And once you receive him, you'll be carrying favor. As for Mary, she carried him for nine months and gave birth to him, and he has become uh, a property of, for all of us. But when we receive him, he becomes our eternal gifts. May the good love visit you. And turn things around. I come 2023 by this time. You come with testimonies. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, if you can stand with your family to your feet. Oh, so be to me. Anyway, we see you now. Sorry, I'm not so. For what more can I say? I am here to pronounce the favor of the Lord upon your life. The same scripture. 
Luke chapter 1 Look at from verse 28 to verse 35. I like what the New International Version said. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You who are highly favored. So, as you stand, whether you are single or you are collectively with your family I just want you to use this word as a mantra into the next year that I am highly favored I am highly favored I am highly favored. Begin to say this. I am highly favored. I am highly favored. Highly favored. Now, you see, anyone who is highly favored exhibits some attitude. Luke chapter 1 verse 30. The Bible says, but the angel said to her, do not be afraid. So one who is highly favored does not entertain any fear. No fears. No fears. Say it, no fears. Because I am highly favored. Number two, Luke chapter 1, verse 31. The Bible says, You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Now, what to need? Yes. So, if you are highly favored, if you are highly favored, there is conception. You conceive. But before you conceive, there is creation. Amen. So because you are highly favored, you will create. Amen. You will conceive. Amen. Now, after conception, there is production. So Mary now gives birth to Jesus. So so I pronounce on you that because you are highly favored, you will produce. You will become fruitful. I am speaking to barren wombs. That in the name of Jesus, be highly favored. Be highly favored. And let your womb open. No, I would turn him here a year by today. I think she say you would embrace your child. Yeah, obey your ba atu. Number four. Yeah, toso nine. Verse thirty-two. Yeah, she be a son. Be a son, you know. The Bible says he will be great. So some so obey your kesiye and will be called the son of the most high. Now a friend of the award so soon no ba. Anyone who is highly favored. Yeah, when you nyami ni mu adomo no. Exhibits greatness. Oh, I pronounce greatness upon you. You will be great. Your household will be great. Your descendants will be great. Your business will be great. Your household will be great. All will be great. After the greatness, God now gives him a divine title. You see, don't fight over titles. But the Lord himself will give you a label. May you be labeled by God. Because you are highly favored. Verse 32 again. Number five, the Bible says, the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. So number five, if you are highly favored, 
There is something called enthronement. The Lord will enthrone you. Are you scared of being sabotaged? Are you scared that you are not going to be promoted? If you are highly favored, he will enthrone you today. May you be enthroned. Number 6. Verse 33. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. So people who are highly favored. They reign in perpetuity. Oh may you reign. May you reign. Hey, May you reign. Yeah. Up to the third and fourth generation. Ah, to to May so. you reign. Yeah. Reigning means that the world will stand for you. Yeah. May the world stand for you. Hey, we are sorry for my May nations stand for you. Am I sorry now? Oh. And then. And then. Verse 35. The angel answered. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Those who are highly favored. There is the Spirit of God. That broods over them. Amen. It serves as a canopy. Over their lives. Because you are highly favored. May you walk under the upon spirit. And then the last one. And now we begin to pray. Verse 35 again. And the power of the most high. Will overshadow you. Those who are highly favored, they are overshadowed Amen. by the power of God. Amen. May you be overshadowed Amen. wherever you are Amen. with the power of God. Amen. Now I end with this. You see, yeah. the general secretary and myself never discussed our sermons. Yeah, Papa, Odi can be cast aye aye. Your small folk will be. Me no, your church ni aye be kanyo. But I remember, I prayed and told God that let His message be my message. Now, me kai sa me kachi le urade se man ya all be kanyo. Anya di aye be kanyo. And so my message was highly favored. The same Luke chapter one verse twenty eight. Inti di aye na me be kanyo. Anya se wadumo. I will look at some panu eti di kanyo. Oh hallelujah! Oh hallelujah! But you see. The highly favored. If you look at the Greek meaning, it means that you, you, you are visited by grace. So, highly favored means graciously visited. So many people have asked for the difference between grace and favor. But I show you a mystery. Anytime grace is in motion, it is favor. So grace is the stationary energy. But favor is the kinetic energy. So may grace begin to move in your life. And that is called favor. Number two. The Greek says that the highly favored means that this favor is free favor. You won't pay for it. You won't pay for this. Receive this freely. This is free favor. With no fears. With creation and conception and production. With greatness and enthronement. And with reigning. In perpetuity. And 
having the upon spirit upon your life and being overshadowed by the power of God this is what we pronounce over you and begin to pray pronouncing the words oh in the name of Jesus 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 in the name of Jesus
Jesus. And may he bring the turn around by his favor. By his favor. By his favor. May he enlarge your coast. May he turn your situation around. One of the key points that is bubbling in my spirit tonight is the fact that those who receive favor also receive the upon spirit. The spirit of the Lord comes upon them. And the power of the Most High overshadows them. And when these two elements come together, everything is possible. Yeah. Even virgins without men are able to conceive. We are praying that tonight as our fathers have released the favor of the Lord. May the spirit of the Lord come upon you. Yeah. May the power of the most high overshadow you. Every impossibility be turned to possibility. May your failures be turned to success. May the Lord bring you to the place of destiny. Come on, begin to pray. Let the spirit of God and the power of the most high come upon you. I'm 
Our daddy Jesus also told us. That for a man like Jabesh, whose name had defined him, place him in the arena of pain and had nothing going for him. This man lifted prayer and the Lord changed his situation. He said it was because of favor. That means by prayer, we can provoke the favor of God upon us. And change every circumstance in our life. I don't know whatever is burdening you. But tonight, if you will cry to the Lord, like Jabez, the Lord will change your situation. He will enlarge your coast. He will take pain from you. His hand will rest upon you. And he will make you fruitful. Come on, lift up your voice. I cry unto the Lord for him to release his favor and change your circumstances. Let him be a stand. 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 Let him be
We also heard tonight about enthronement. That Jesus who was a product of God's favor will be enthroned on his father David's throne. And we have been told tonight that when the favor of the Lord locates you, he puts you on your throne. I believe without any scriptural basis that everybody came here with the throne. At least I know Jesus came down here with the throne. So I believe you all came with our thrones. But it could be that you have been dethroned. So that you cannot reign in this life. But tonight, by the provocation and the release of favor, May the Lord put us back on our throne. Amen. 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 So that we will be able to rule and reign in this life. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? The Lord put me on my throne. Oh Lord, 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 put me on my throne. When I said without any scripture back, the Holy Spirit said, Go to Romans chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible said, Those of us who have received grace will reign in this life. How do you reign without a throne? 
So every one of us came with the throne. And we thank God by his favor he has enthroned us. Amen. And from tonight you will begin to reign. And you will begin to rule in this life. In the name of Jesus. Love we were also told. Things that will not happen. Let us enjoy the favor of the Lord. And we are praying tonight that the Lord will grant us grace so that we will not walk in disobedience. That we will not walk in sexual sin in and immorality. That we will not walk in pride and lack of faithfulness in the work of the Lord. That we will not sow the seed of wickedness. When we run away from all this, we can enjoy the favor of the Lord. Lift up your voice the Lord have mercy on me. adoration that the favor that came upon Mary and resulted in your incarnation has become our blessing Amen. we give you all the glory Amen. that when you were declaring your mandate in Luke chapter 4 18 and 19 you also made it clear to us that it is the year of your favor Jesus. in our lives we bless you that when your favor comes upon us and we submit, you, God, assume control and you make us productive and you make us effective and you make us fulfill our callings. 
Tonight we lift the church before you, God. That as you have blessed us, oh God, until this point, and we have six more days to go, and that by your grace you will usher us into 2023, we pray, oh God, that the church of God, the church of Jesus Christ, the church of Pentecost will come under the influence of the upon spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That the favor of God will rest upon your church Amen. in the nations in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as you reposition the local church for maximum impact in the nations, it will be everywhere by virtue of the favor, by virtue of the favor, by virtue of the favor, in the name of Jesus, yes. that every member of your household will be a career of the favor of God. Amen. Father, tonight, if there is anything in the lives of your sons and daughters, that negates the effects of the oppression of your favor. Lord, have mercy. We ask for the spirit of obedience in the church. We ask for humility in the church. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that we will be faithful. We pray that love will be in the midst of your people. And we pray in the name of Jesus that there will be purity. Amen. There will be purity. Amen. There will be purity. Amen. That the church will advance. Amen. That the church will reign in perpetuity yes, by virtue of your favor. Yes, May everyone who carries the name of Jesus yes, move in the favor of God. Amen. And may the name of Christ Please. be glorified Amen. in this church now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Minin serati obegwe kwebi amame minin serati obegwe kwebi kwebi amame Praise the Lord we are very grateful to God for a very, very impactful evening. And we are so, so, so grateful to our General Secretary, Apostle Alexander, Nanaya Kumilavi, and then our International Missions Director, Apostle Emmanuel Ajemai Bekrin, for the combination of graces that has been dispensed in great favor that we have received. We are so, so, so grateful that tonight on behalf of our dear chairman ministered so greatly unto the nations beloved we'll be entering the prayer room on tuesday the 27th it will be the last for the year 2022 it's the virtual prayer night with our dear chairman from 10 p.m to 11 30 p.m the webinar id is 9882971136 the passcode is chairman if you have an email and the system is asking, you key it in. If not, the generic one is meetings at gmail.com. Thankfully, this virtual prayer night airs live on Pen TV every Tuesday from 10 p.m. That is 22 hours to 23.30 hours. So once you don't have access to the Zoom account, you can switch on your Pen TV and then be part of this intercessors assembly as our chairman has indicated it is our highest form of christian service so that we can continue to raise prayer and intercession as we seek god to be able to transform our world beloved we are grateful to our sponsors priority insurance next computers lufa tablet and syrup and then edc and also grateful to atinka media village for this strong support throughout the year we are so, so, so grateful to the management and the leadership of Atenka Media Village for the support, as well as all those who've been part of this awesome experience throughout the whole year, those who joined us on TV, those who were part of the Zoom family. We are so, so grateful for the loyal Zoom family. You've always been part of this awesome production. And then those who were also 
or listening on the COP online radio, and then those who connected also on YouTube and then on Facebook. Tonight, we also had heavenly bells, heavenly bells passing through to bless us with very scintillating carols. And, and heavenly bells, they have a program on the 27th. Um, it's called Extravagant Praise. Um, I want to just uh, announce they will be holding the program at PIWC Atomic. It's Tuesday at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. So if you want to enjoy and listen to some of this, Coco Mlemle, PIWC, ATTC, Coco Mlemle. So if you want to enjoy what they were ministering to us and have much more, then be part of the program on Tuesday, on Tuesday at 4 p.m. PIWC, Coco Mlemle, PIWC, Coco Mlemle. So, beloved, we are living here with favor and great favor. God willing. We'll see you in 2023. May the Lord bless you and see you soon. Amen. Mary Sante, Nene, 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 Nene,